It just sounds like an excuse to go get drunk, but I mean, sure. Once agreed, Lana leads the way out of the academy. I follow her from the twisting roads of Illumia. When asked why we were taking so many turns, she said she wanted to avoid the marketplace, which would be so crowded with people we wouldn't be able to walk through. Soon we reach the inn. The place is a lot larger than either inn we've stayed at so far. Any other inn. But it looks exactly the same! At such a surprise! Along with the smoothly crafted dining table, since a fireplace along the far wall labeled jars on the mantel, can I pluck an apple or, like, get some soup? The place is fairly busy for this time of day, and only a couple of tables are open. Per usual, Liana speaks with the innkeeper. I see him point towards the coffin by the fireplace. When she returns, she drops the key in my hand. Here's the key to your room. I figured we're going to be spending the night here. Thank you. I'm not as I pocket my key. The innkeeper doesn't know how to get to Ember Mist, no but he says that that couple comes from the far desert. They might know. Oh, well, I mean, okay. Maybe we should split up so we can cover more ground that way. All right, Freddy, sure. Good idea. I'll go talk to that couple first. I'll grab something to drink. Okay. As Yana walks off, I survey the room. The group of adventurers, the cute girl, the loner in the corner. Hmm. Aragorn. Can't think of a reference. Uh... Um... Your average D&D murder hobos? I don't know. Um, again, blanked on a reference. I mean, it's like, look, which two do you think are the ones that are going to be the most interesting in one way or another? The question is, am I going to get more than one option or chance? Uh... Hey, fuck it. I approached her pretty redhead at the bar. Hey there. She smiles. Hi. Oh. Pardon me. <laughs> Not what I'm in town for. I mean... Maybe later. Um, are you looking to join a party? I can be. Are we talking in, in like, camp here then? Because I sit down beside her. Have you been here long? She gives me a curious look. Long enough to know that I haven't seen you before. Uh-huh. I'm just passing through. Oh? Where are you headed? Timber mist. Suddenly her smile drops. That's not the reaction I was expecting. I, I mean, I can expect a number- Oh, well, I can anticipate a number of different reasons why, but I have psychic mind powers to tell me who she is. Or, well... Her profession. Ember Mist doesn't exist. I frown. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. All right, never mind then. Her smile drops again as she grabs a drink. She sways her hips as she walks and appro uh, as she walks and approaches a man who's drinking alone. Her alluring smile returns as she sits down beside him and touches his hand. Wait a minute, is she a consort? Let's pretend that didn't just happen. <clears throat> the Leonard type usually top of the world, don't they? I approach the man sitting alone in the far corner of the inn. His head is down as he nurses a tankard. Once they get close, they recognize him. It's fucking Zack, isn't it? Zack? His head shoots up and he stares at me with those familiar stoic eyes. Oh, it's you. Yeah, and it's you. You, uh, finish whatever it is you came here to do? Yep. Cool. He's still just as talkative as ever. You finish up at the academy? As much as the Academy could assist us, apparently, yeah. Yeah, it was... interesting. Mages usually are. <laughs> One of the toy of the city of Embermist. Zack Snort. Sending you on a wild goose chase, huh? We're sending ourselves, actually. It's a self-indulgence thing, don't worry about it. Guess that means you don't know where it is either? Nope. Well, we're the shot. Alright, well, good seeing you. He nods. <laughs> Looks like I'm not having much luck. I wonder how Leon is doing. Judging from her pound, she had about as much success as I did. We make our way back to the bar. Greetings. Uh oh. Oh, so you decided to completely under under <laughs> go right past authority and come straight to us. Out of girl. 
Amelia waits for us with the bar, and I'm startled to see her presence. Leanna looks just shocked. What are you doing here? Guess. I've come to accompany you on your journey. There we go. Professor Xavier made it very clear that you were to stay at the Academy. I do not give a damn what Professor Xavier wants. I do my own thing. He can die mad. <laughs> His logic is rational, but my presence and assistance is far more beneficial for you than it is for me to remain at the Academy. What assistance? Just fix me with that completely lifeless gaze, don't you? I am aware of the location of Ember Mist. How? How is that possible? That. How I know is irrelevant. Bullshit. All right, if you know, then tell us where it is. I will gladly impart this knowledge into you should you accept me as a travel companion. Just scoot over Liana. Hey, okay. She'll tell us, then we'll just tie her up, cart her back to the academy, and be on our way. Sound good? I think it's a great plan. But the academy won't let you go. She shrugs. If I cannot go, then I suppose neither can you. Eh. <sighs> Blah! Liana bites her lip. I can tell she's torn. Eh, yeah, more the merrier. Why, why not? We should let her join. We shouldn't go against a direct order from the Mage Academy. These aren't exactly typical circumstances, though, so I think a little bit of leeway, you know, may be necessary. What are the choices we have? She frowns. Nobody this inn knows the location. I doubt we'll find anyone else who can tell us how to get there. Are you really willing to give up this lead? Nyana runs her hand through her hair as she thinks. She steals glances at Amelia who watches the hawk eyes. By hawk, I think you mean those wide, I mean, uh, un, well, did she ever blink? I wasn't paying attention. But like, just, you know, wide, just void eyes. That eat everything they, that, just consuming everything they gaze upon. Finally, Leon's expression softens as she nods. Fine. You can come with us, but only on the condition that you let us bring extra protection. You're gonna go try and hire Zack, aren't you? That is a logical conclusion. I am not opposed to it. All right. I'll see if I can find some mages last minute. Oh, never mind. That's technically a more reasonable option. No! Oh, well, okay. I'll see your Ahoga is b b bouncing. Both Leanna and I uh, stare at Amelia. Mages will alert the Academy of our proposal. That's uh, more than likely possible, yes. And then they wouldn't let us go. Correct. I suppose that makes sense. She taps a finger at her chin. I guess the only other option is to hire a mercenary. She's gonna thumb back over my shoulder. Hey, guess who's here? I grin. I am just a person in mind. Other than two of them to where Zack is sitting. Hey, Zack! <laughs> he looks up from his tankard. You'd be surprised he doesn't show I up. didn't expect to see you so soon. We were feeling a bit of separation anxiety. I missed you so much, sweetums. To my surprise, Zack cracked a smile. I'm actually here to do business. Zack cocks his head slightly. You have my attention. We need protection for our newest companion. She nods towards Amelia, who merely stares at Zack. He gives her a once-over. Isn't she a mage? Yes, but a student. That is not an accurate description. I am... Um... Liana glares at her. A student. State secrets? While not untrue, I have fulfilled the necessary curriculum to be considered... Or that. Amelia! Liana is clearly exacerbated. Amelia cocks her head to the side and studies Liana curiously. Anyway, what we're trying to ask is, are you for hire, and will you accept this job? Zack pauses and takes a long second of his drink. He looks from me to Liana to me then pauses again. Finally, he nods. All right. Really? That's great. Yeah, but what about the price? He's a mercenary, which means we have to discuss some kind of business arrangement, right? We're headed to Ember Mist. Zack raises an eyebrow at me. You found someone who knows the way. Pinky. I point to Amelia. Interesting. All right, now we have our team. Uh, what do we do now? There's no point in beginning our journey when the sun is almost gone. Eh, that's true. I should return to the academy before my disappearance is observed. Okay, affirmative. Good idea. We can reconvene here tomorrow morning. 
The three of us leave Zack alone and Amelia heads out of the inn. Just as I leave, a group of young adults burst in. They laugh loudly and their cheeks are flushed as they're from dancing or running. A circlet of flowers on each of their heads. Lana gasped. Oh, the festival! The what now? I thought it was just a bunch of drunk college students. Festival? Yeah, it's a celebration of the spring equinox. Do you want to go check it out? Spring, something about wreaths. This wouldn't have anything to do with fertility in some way, would it? Sure. Sounds fun. Rihanna grins. It is. It's one of my favorite festivals. Being at the end, all the moon has traded place in the sky with the sun, the streets are still bursting, bustling with people. Oh, good. <laughs> the, the, the moon is out. Then we should not take star damage. <clears throat> Leon and I follow the crowd until we reach a town square. Blue. Colored strings of crystal lights hang from the uh, large cherry trees on in the perimeter of the square. Bullshit. I want to see it. The light spills soft rainbows in the smiling faces of the townsfolk. The heavenly aroma of spices and grilled meat entices me toward the festivities. A simple stand is set up on one side of the square where musicians play a jaunty tune. They tap their feet in time to the beat as dancers whirl around the center of the square. As we pass through the square, giggling girls offer circlets of flowers. Liana happily accepts hers and lets the girl place it on her head. It's so beautiful. Everything looks so different. Bullshit. I don't see a wreath or whatever. Crown. Her eyes sparkle as she taps her feet to the rhythm of the music as she watches a pair of dancers uh, jumping and twirling. For the first time since we met, Liana's face holds no trace of caution. My eyes are drawn to her as her smile lights up her entire face. She turns toward me and I quickly look away. I hope she didn't catch me staring. Would you like to dance? Sure. I don't know how. I just had to take a moment. Honest. Probably gonna go with this. Nah. Hard pass. Sure. Sure, but I've never danced like that before. Oh? How do you normally dance? I normally don't. Her eyes glitter as she waits expectantly. This is awkward. I can't do it when you put me in the spot like that. Aw. Okay, I'll let you off the hook this time. Thank you. Let me show you how we do it here. She takes my hands in hers and pulls me to a more secluded area on the dance floor. <laughs> Shut up and dance with me. <laughs> For this song, Sorry. we're going to raise our right hands up like this so they touch. Okay. She bends her elbow and holds her arm up to eye level. Then she moves my arm so it matches hers. I can feel the warmth of her fingers as they brush my own. Our hands will stay here, and then we use our right foot to step to the right. Then left foot back. Then we'll shift our weight front and back in a ball change. What? As she speaks, she demonstrates the steps. I mean, b demonstrating would probably, you know, work as opposed to me reading. I have no fucking clue what's going on. Then we do the same thing on the left. Left foot left. Right foot back and ball change. Then we step to the right and spin from behind. Come on, try it with me. All right. Begin to position the Leona count saw. Five, six, seven, eight. First I step. Remember and repeat the icon. Oh no. Remember and repeat the icon pattern. I'm concentrating. Okay. Simon says, fuck off. Magically, I and I step with my right foot. That's it. You don't have, I mean, okay, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but it kind of sound, never mind. I'm... Stupid pride, don't worry about it. Then I step with my left foot to the back and do a ball change. Next, we do the same thing on the left side. Then we step with the right foot and spin.
I hate that. <laughs> I step to the right and spin from behind. Leon and I are a step apart. Uh, do we do this right? Are we supposed to be this far apart? Yeah. Normally, we'd be facing our new partners, and we do the whole thing over again, starting with our left foot. And once that's done, we'll be facing each other again. Huh. You go within the steps under time, and I manage to dance it perfectly. Wow, you're a natural. Are you sure you've never done this before? I'm a visual learner, but I mean, I am surprised, but then again, sometimes being... Uh, d d sometimes stress can be an interestingly potent motivator. You just concentrate really, really hard on doing the thing right in front of you. A warm grin is infectious, and I find myself grinning just as broadly. You mean grinning like an idiot. It's because I had such a great teacher. <laughs> True, but I really hope... I, 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 sh I really hope I didn't mean that as like a... <laughs> some kind of suave pickup line or some shit, because that's just... Her cheeks flush, and as she's about to reply, our gazes meet. Liana's breath catches in her throat, and she seems to forget what she's about to say. For a second, I forget about the crowds of people around us. All I can see is her. Then, someone jostles us, and we quickly look away. Uh, what just happened here? A cliche. <laughs> I catch her glancing at me, and she smiles shyly. So, um, do you think you're ready to join the rest of the dancers? Nope! Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm game if you are. I hold up my hand and she accepts it with that same coy smile. Then I lead her out to the dance floor. We dance late into the night until our feet ache and our throats grow hoarse from laughing. The party is still going strong as Leanna and I return to the inn and head into our separate rooms. I haven't had that much fun in ages. As I fall into my bed, I enter dreamland with an immense smile on my face. <laughs> 